Tellers. Again, you can see that blood. And the fighters come out, touch gloves, and the crowd appreciates what they've seen through 11. This, the 12th and final round. And a marked contrast to the corners, Dan. Freddie Roach told Marlon Starling he needed a knockout to win. In the blocker corner, they just said, don't get careless. That must be who. Oh, and a good right hand by Starling again. Catches blocker flush. And that hanging on was Marlon Starling. We talked early about the chin of Maurice Blocker. He certainly has had ample opportunity to display it here today. He's taken some good shots, and he has not wavered. Needless to say, the two fighters, Marlon Starling, showing much more wear and tear. Marlon is not right now fighting like a man who thinks he needs a knockout to win. He may be trying to draw Maurice up to the right hand, but he just isn't putting it together at this point. Whether Freddie's right or not, I don't know. Freddie may just been trying to inspire a big effort. We've said many times, Dan, don't accept the word of the corner man trying to motivate his fighter is what they think in reality. Halfway through the final round of our final fight here in our 1990 Schlitzball Liquor Boxing Series. It's also the end of our ABC Series that we started back in January, and it has been fun. And this has been an excellent effort by both these fighters. You see Cedric Kushner there, the man, uh, well, I won't say that some people call him a walrus, but uh, the man there with the mustache at ringside in the blue suit waving Marlon Starling in. lasts another 30 seconds what we're going to do is immediately leave and go to a commercial break and then come back and get the decision so stay with us we'll be back with the decision and let me tell you this one is up for grabs we think <laughs> yeah. never ever ever predict boxing score for us Maurice Clarker certainly is fighting like a man who thinks he's the new champion. Here's the bell. There it is, the end of the fight. We'll be right back to Reno for the decision. Don't go anywhere. Okay, Jim Hall is our ring announcer. Let's go up now for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a majority decision. Judge Miguel Donate scores at 115-113. George Chuck Giampa scores at 114-114 a draw. And Judge Lynn Carter scores at 115-113. Winner by majority decision and new WBC World Champion of the World, Maurice Blocker. Looking at the scorecards now, one judge gave Blocker the last round. He needed it to win and gave him 115-113. And the other judge, so Maurice Blocker, won the last round to win the fight and the title. Today, Schlitzball Liquor, in the name of Maurice Blocker, will be presenting a $1,000 check to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. That was established in 1982 to grant wishes to children with life-threatening illnesses. So Maurice Blocker goes to 32 and 1, Alex. Let me just repeat, Dan. Two judges had Maurice, I'm sorry, yeah, all three judges had Maurice Blocker up by one point going into the final round. He won that decision, he won that round on two out of the three scorecards to win a 115-113. Well, I want to thank everybody all season long that helped us here at ABC. United State Athletic Commission and the WBA for the next bout of the evening. The judges will be Jerry Roth of Nevada, Elias Quintana of New Mexico and Dave Moretti.
World Pro Championship he hopes. But today, he is stepping up in class against the Ugandan John Manduga, who has twice as many fights. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chris Shankle, delighted.